Second Day of Waiting on God by Andrew Murray. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Recording by Christopher Smith. Waiting on God, the keynote of life. I have waited for thy salvation, O Lord. Genesis chapter 49, verse 18. It is not easy to say exactly in what sense Jacob used these words in the midst of his prophecies in regard to the future of his sons. But they do certainly indicate that both for himself and for them his expectation was from God alone. It was God's salvation he waited for, a salvation which God had promised and which God himself alone could work out. He knew himself and his sons to be under God's charge. Jehovah, the everlasting God, would show in them what his saving power is and does. The words point forward to that wonderful history of redemption which is not yet finished, and to the glorious future in eternity whither it is leading. They suggest to us how there is no salvation but God's salvation, and how waiting on God for that, whether for our personal experience or in wider circles, is our first duty, our true blessedness. Let us think of ourselves and the inconceivably glorious salvation God has wrought for us in Christ, and is now purposing to work out and to perfect in us by His Spirit. Let us meditate until we somewhat realize that every participation of this great salvation from moment to moment must be the work of God himself. God cannot part with his grace or goodness or strength as an external thing that he gives us, as he gives the raindrops from heaven. No, he can only give it and we can only enjoy it as he works it himself directly and unceasingly. And the only reason that he does not work it more effectually and continuously is that we do not let him. We hinder him, either by our indifference or by our self-effort, so that he cannot do what he would. What he asks of us in the way of surrender and obedience and desire and trust is all comprised in this one word, waiting on him, waiting for his salvation. It combines the deep sense of our entire helplessness of ourselves to work what is divinely good and our perfect confidence that our God will work it all in his divine power. Again, I say, let us meditate on the divine glory of the salvation God purposes to work out in us until we know the truths it implies. Our heart is the scene of a divine operation more wonderful than creation. We can do as little towards the work as towards creating the world, except as God works in us to will and to do. God only asks of us to yield, to consent, to wait upon him, and he will do it all. Let us meditate and be still, until we see how meet and right and blessed it is that God alone do all, and our soul will of itself sink down in deep humility to say, I have waited for thy salvation, O Lord. And the deep, blessed background of all our praying and working will be, Truly my soul waiteth upon God. The application of the truth to wider circles, to those we labor among or intercede for, to the church of Christ around us or throughout the world, is not difficult. There can be no good but what God works. To wait upon God and have the heart filled with faith in his working, and in that faith to pray for his mighty power to come down, is our only wisdom. Oh, for the eyes of our heart to be opened, to see God working in ourselves and in others, and to see how blessed it is to worship and just to wait for his salvation. Our private and public prayer are our chief expression of our relation to God. It is in them chiefly that our waiting upon God must be exercised. If our waiting begin by quieting the activities of nature and being still before God, if it bows and seeks to see God in his universal and almighty operation, alone, able and always ready to work all good, 
if it yields itself to him in the assurance that he is working and will work in us if it maintains the place of humility and stillness and surrenders until god's spirit has quickened the faith that he will perfect his work it will indeed become the strength and the joy of the soul life will become one deep blessed cry i have waited for thy salvation o lord my soul wait thou only upon god end of second day